today is a great day. And we're thrilled that you're all here with us today for the Baker Polito administration's announcement regarding housing production. But this all begins with a very simple fact, which is that more and more people want to call Massachusetts home, which is a really good thing. Our economy is growing, our population's changing, but it's expanding. But as we've all discussed, our housing production has simply not kept pace over the past few decades. For Massachusetts to continue to grow its economy, we're going to have to find a way to build more housing. Now we believe giving municipalities the tools and the incentives to plan that housing, especially in locations that make the most sense around transit and downtowns, so that we can finally see the progress we need to see on an issue that's been stuck in place for almost a generation. And that's why we're here today to announce our administration's new Housing Choice Initiative, which is aimed at producing 135,000 new units of housing by 2025. There are three elements to this initiative. A series of incentives and rewards on new and existing grant programs for communities doing their part to build more housing. Expanded and enhanced technical assistance for communities that want to figure out how to get more housing done. And new legislation, which we'll be introducing later today, that makes it easier for cities and towns to adopt zoning that results in housing production. We most certainly respect the role of municipal leaders in shaping their community's future. And with that in mind, we aim to provide tools to local officials rather than mandates because mo most communities need to have a p an opportunity and a way to participate in an initiative, in this initiative that works for them. The Commonwealth and the city have been staunch allies for RTH since the 1970s when we came to terms with the hospital, saved our historic neighborhood, and began to build almost a thousand new homes. And when Governor Baker and I came into office, we promised that we would work hard to make Massachusetts a stronger and better commonwealth from one end of the state to the other. And we knew, as former local officials, that we were not going to direct the terms to our cities and towns from Beacon Hill but instead we were going to partner with the city and town officials and the leadership in, in these communities and help them unlock their potential, see into their future what they want in their community and work right alongside with these city and town officials to get the job done. And by focusing on best practices, we are working with communities across Massachusetts to create housing production plans. They're deciding what they want for their future. Uh, the housing challenges, facing all of us in the greater Boston metropolitan region and uh, across the Commonwealth, as we all know, are at a crisis proportion. So it's up to us here locally and at the state level to step up and really implement solutions to this problem. Governor Baker and Lieutenant Governor Polito have heeded that call, and I enthusiastically applaud them for creating the Housing Choice Program and filing legislation to encourage housing production across this Commonwealth. I mean, this program clearly demonstrates the administration, this administration's commitment to preserving and producing housing to serve the needs of Massachusetts residents and really to attract the workers we need for our growing economy and to allow that economy to sustain. Baker Polito administration is to be congratulated for its goal of adding 135,000 housing units statewide by 2025 and for creating incentives and tools for cities and towns to expand housing opportunities for those who live and work in our communities. First of all, instead of the traditional approach of simply subsidizing an artificially expensive housing market, the approaches in this bill seek to use market forces to build the right types of products at affordable prices that respond to younger first-time home buyers and downsizing baby boomers. This approach and the strategy the administration is outlining actually uses housing as a tool for greater economic and community development growth throughout the Commonwealth. That makes this a very exciting change in the dialogue of how we approach housing in Massachusetts and what we use housing for other than simply for sheltering people.